Just educate ourselves, ladies in the house. So um, a pap smear, also called a pap test, is a procedure to test for cervical cancer in women. A pap smear involves collecting cells from your cervix. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi guys, good morning from me. It's another beautiful day. Today's agenda is going to be mostly outdoor because I have a few things I want to do. First, I'm going to stop by at the hospital because I have to be attended to. I used to have this right abdominal pain. It comes, it goes and it's here again. So I just want to look into it and probably just figure the last solution. I've been told it's appendix and I've been shying away from it. So probably I might just give in now. Probably, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, and I also want to see a gynecologist. I don't have a doctor's appointment, but I'm hoping that there will be an open slot and I can just walk in and be attended to. And what else, what else, what else? Yeah, I don't have a few things at home, so I will drop by at the stores to just pick a few things. Please, it's not going to be a very detailed vlog because, you know, Corona thing. So I'm just going to like just show bits and bits of clips here and there. I hope you don't mind. Come with me. <laughs> this guy is so noisy. Every time he's leaving, you know. But you're perfect. You don't believe it. It's like you don't see it. Not at all. Even those days without me. I thought I'm well dressed enough for this weather because. There's a time that I remember when I never felt so low. Guys, we're here now and I'm just walking to the hospital. In case you can't hear me, I'm putting on my mask now. You should hear me, but maybe not very well or clearly. How fast to exactly? Yeah. Okay, so you what? You are with Dr. Zainas. I don't know the doctor. Dr. Zainas. Her name. Okay. I'll just wait. Okay. Alright, thank you. Okay, guys. I was able to get an... So let me sit down. Guys, I'm out here still waiting. Um, from the front desk, I was told the earliest doctor wouldn't be until 2:30 p.m. So I'm waiting. I'm also in between, just dashing to the nearest market here to get the few things I need to, so that once I see the doctor here, there'll be no need stopping anywhere again, and I'll just head home. I'm still contemplating whatever it is. We'll figure out as I go. So I'm waiting in the lounge. I hope I didn't whisper much and you heard.
So I've been asked to go to the second floor, door 205. So come with me. <laughs> you guys, I feel like I said it's come with me a lot. Second floor. Two zero five could be where now. Two zero two, okay. Two zero three, two zero four, two zero five. Tamam. Say so guys. I was actually waiting at 205 until I hear the bell and then I'll go in. I doubt I'll be able to go inside the room with my phone and record at the same time. I look very unserious, so I do check with you guys once I'm out. Oh, there's some aquarium thingy going on here. Such a beaut. <laughs> Hi, I am back home and this are the things I got from the mall. I couldn't take you to the mall with me. I don't know, I just got tired. It began to feel some type of way, so I didn't even bother. I'll pick and unpack with you guys. Thank to receive. I spent some money to do travel. Why are we to complain? Water! What's me? I have to make pepper soup. That should be tomorrow. Tomorrow, not today again. Marinated chicken wings. Juice. I think I should step down with this now. This is actually the first thing I'm having today. And what's the time now? Oh my god, 4.45 p.m. I got noodles. I don't eat noodles again because the way noodles make me feel. Every time I have noodles, I feel like I swallowed a whole human. So I've really, really cut down on how much I eat noodles. I make sure I do only when it is absolutely necessary, like now. Fast way to just quench this hunger. And I got just to what I'll eat now. Lemon popcorn. This is my favorite um, snack. Ice cream. What's the flavor I got? Caramel. The other one. It's actually chips. My second favorite food. And this is one thing that I was so impressed. Shout out to Lizzie, she introduced me to this and I ate it like a mad woman. I stopped eating it for a while and I think I'm ready to take on it again. I got six of these, two different flavors, three each. Yeah. And that's all good. And of course, my drug from the um, hospital. And the guy gave me her. So safe to say I have my personal gynecologist now. The takeout from the gyna. Okay, so um part of actually why I went to see the gyna was to run like a pap test. Pap test is um a diagnostic procedure. I I don't know much, so I'm just going to read straight from Google for us and yeah, just basically let's educate ourselves, ladies in the house. So um a pap smear also called a pap test, is a procedure to test for cervical cancer in women. A pap smear involves collecting cells from your cervix, the lower narrow end of your uterus, that's at the top of your VJ. Um, basically what this is just to diagnose in case you are likely to have like I'll shut up and just continue reading. <laughs> I actually know what I want to say. I like the medical terms for it, yeah. So and let me save myself any shame. 
The test is a method of cervical screening used to detect potentially precancerous, exactly like I said, precancerous and cancerous processes in the cervix or colon. Abnormal findings are often followed up by more sensitive diagnostic procedures and, if warranted, interventions that aim to prevent progression to cervical cancer. Yeah, so it's just like some preventive measure. I mean, it's very important as ladies to check often and, you know, there's just so much our body is capable of. And then a stitch in time saves nine. I'm glad at how matured and how grown I am over time because previously, I'm that kind of person that... No matter how sick I am, I won't even tell you. You build me, you won't even know. You know that something is wrong, but I'll try as much as possible to hide it because I hate drugs, I hate anything, injection. I, I don't belong anywhere. So I like that I'm this grown and I'm beginning to take the steps. And if you're out there and you're that laid back person, please, health is wealth. And it's very important to take things like this more seriously. Tamam? I mean, then my mom used to call me, like my mom would always call me like, oh, now you are sick, you won't say it. When it comes to jekology, like, jekology basically means carry and let's carry. That means you're so sick now that at this point you can't even walk or help yourself again. So don't allow it to get to jekology. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please do not forget to like. Very important because that's about the only way YouTube will get to recommend my video to other people. Share, subscribe. Please, it's very important. And I like that we are growing. Thank you to everybody who's walking behind the scene, sharing my links and telling people to subscribe. Thank you. It's actually working. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.